I'm Paul Rothman, uh, director of R&D from Little Bits. And I'm Kristen Solomon, an electronics engineer at Little Bits. We brought uh, to Maker Fair all of our uh, modules and all of our kits. Uh, we've got people demoing uh, all the all the different uh, modules that we have, and we have a couple of projects uh, here as well, uh, as well as a big arcade machine that we built specially for Maker Fair. Little Bits is a library of electronic building blocks. They snap together with magnets and it allows you to prototype electronics, create your own electronic devices really simply and easily without any uh, knowledge of electronics previously. So the big project we brought is called the Little Bits Arcade and it's our biggest project that we've ever made with Little Bits. It has over 600 bits and it's a fully analog arcade game that you can play. And so it's kind of a mixture of like Plinko and Pinball where a ball falls into different levels and you uh, want to get it towards the last tray uh, and you win an epic win prize. <laughs> the prizes that you win are the lollipops and more epic lollipops. We've also brought with us uh, some modules um, that are going to be coming out later this year, part of our BitLab program. So we have our Bleep Drum from Bleep Labs, and so that's a great complement to our synth kit, and that's basically an electronic drum module that you can program and create your own uh, uh, electronic uh, synth beats. Um, we also have the oscilloscope module from Gabotronics, and so that's basically a, a full-featured uh, oscilloscope on a little bits module, and so you can use that to take a look at the waveforms, um, debug any any circuits that you're building, um, and it has a scope mode, a meter mode, as well as an FFT. So it's really simple and easy to use, but it also goes really deep. So it's a great sort of introduction to using uh, test equipment like an oscilloscope. The BitLab is a program that we launched at Maker Faire New York in uh, 2014 and that's a program that we have that allows our community to design their own little bits modules. So uh, we have our HDK which uh, makes designing a module for the little bit system super easy. We brought our animatronic hand project as well which uses the Arduino module as well as the wireless transmitter and receiver so you can actually play rock, paper, scissors with a computer and try and see if you can beat it. Uh, we also have an automatic fish feeder that uses the cloud bit, so you can control the cloud bit on our cloud control app and feed the fish, our, uh, our pet Nemo fish here, and by using the internet. And the cloud bit is our uh, internet connected module, and it's basically a little Linux computer that has a USB Wi-Fi dongle that you can use to commission to your Wi-Fi and create your own internet connected devices. So for example, the remote pet feeder is just one uh, project that you can make, but you can also uh, create more projects than use a cloud control app, or if this then that, to create automated recipes to control the cloud grid. The reaction so far has been really great. Uh, we've been here, I think this is our ninth Maker Fair, and uh, it's great to just come out. We see a lot of familiar faces that come by every year, see what's new from us and then a lot of people that are new to Little Bits that are just interested. So we're happy to kind of spread the message of the power of electronics to everybody and uh, just keeping busy, you know, showing people uh, what we have here. My advice to young makers is never be afraid to fail because nothing works right the first time and if you just keep trying, uh, you're bound to get it right. And also don't be afraid to try any projects, even if your ideas seem way out there. It's always fun to just see what you can come up with and what, uh, what else you can make.